Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I was just here with you all for my new setup for the second half of this year, but glad to have you all back for my July plan with me. This month, my theme is focused on something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is a sushi theme, mostly because I've had this sushi washi tape from World Market for so long sitting in my stationery drawer that I knew I'd have to do this theme eventually, and finally I'm having the chance to do it. I wanted to do it early this year, but if you watched my April plan with me, I decided to change it out of respect for all of the things that were going on, especially in regards to Asian American hate crimes, so out of respect for that, I decided to change my April theme and push doing a sushi theme until later on in the year, but if you still want to help that community and support it, I have links down in my description on how to do so. In regards to all of the sushi doodles that I'm doing, they were fairly easy to be honest. All I did was find my inspiration from a Pinterest board on easy sushi doodles and after just a bit of practice I found myself mastering these cute little sushi doodles and you'll see them obviously throughout my entire setup and I only really used two colors other than a black marker and that was this deep salmon color and a gray color from my Zebra Mild Liners. Um, so this is the first time I've really only had one primary color and I do like it. It was easy. I found myself flying through these spreads setups fairly quickly just because I only had really one option. Uh, so I was able to quickly set this all up and as you'll see later I did something a bit different this month. And as you can see on my quote page, my quote this month is just roll with it. I thought it was a very apt quote, especially for the summer months. I also apologize for the mouse off to the side. I was multitasking while filming this video and forgot to move it out of my camera view, so sorry for the distraction. All of the supplies I'm using are linked below per usual, including the stamps that I'm using for my lettering this month. Uh, because the ink doesn't really come through well, I always had to come in and use a black marker to fill them in, but I liked the lettering that these stamps provided for this theme, so I didn't mind too much going back and doing that because it had the desired look that I was going for but my Zebra Mile Liner pens are also linked, as well as a few other additional supplies, including the awesome washi tape. As you can see, I'm doing my normal calendar setup in six by six individual squares this time. Anyone who's been with me all year long knows that this spread doesn't really change for me. Sometimes I have individual boxes, sometimes I keep them all together, but I usually always have 6x6 squares and I always leave room on the side for a to-do list. And before moving on, gotta get the washi tape in. Now that I've finally moved the mouse out of the way, we can continue on. I will admit that this is mostly due to a mistake when I was setting everything up. I always create my setups with pencil first, just so it makes the filming a lot easier but I started creating my weekly spread immediately without doing any of my other normal spreads. But when I went and thought about it, I didn't really want to erase all the work that I had done, and I really didn't have too many 
additional spreads that I needed to do, such as a mood board or a playlist or anything like that. So I thought I would stick with it and just to make sure that I had enough content to share, I end up setting up every weekly spread for this month. So now you all get to see how I set up my weekly spreads. This weekly in particular only covers the first four days of the month since July starts in the middle of the week. So this is something that I've actually been utilizing quite a bit in my bullet journal this year. Instead of incorporating other days of the month, I just make little half page spreads for when the month starts in the middle of the week. My June monthly actually ended with the first three days of the month so it works out well the way that I lay it out and because I only need a half page for this weekly I use the adjacent page for just my notes or a brain dump page. But I'll pause the voiceover for now, so if you want, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of my weekly setups for this month.
One thing I realized that I still needed in this setup, even though I had done all my weeklies, was my August layout planning pages. This is something that I do every month and it is very useful and this is just a place for me to practice and plan out the following month. It just makes it a lot easier when I'm doing the plan with me uh, for the following month and this will be for August. Before we move on to my final flip through, I just want to remind everyone, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss any upcoming videos. And here is my July 2021 bullet journal setup. Thank you all for joining. Until next time.